What's going on YouTube? It's Tech Grapple, and today I'm here for uh, a review of two very nice um, Syntax editors. One for the PC and one for the Mac. The one for the Mac is called TextMate, and uh, it's uh, open source, um, and it's either 50 or $60, uh, not from the App Store, but just from online, but you can also download it uh, via Torrent or just uh, Mega Upload. And the one for the PC is called Notepad++. It's also a uh, open source program. Uh, it's uh, a source code editor, and uh, that one is free. You do not need to pay for it, and it was not paid for originally. So uh, yeah, uh, guys. So let's uh, show you what it's all about. Okay, guys. So um, first off, we're going to start out with Notepad++. This is an open source program for uh, Windows. Um, uh, that includes XP and Vista and 7. Okay, and when we open it up, you can uh, have a lot, wide array of options. You have opportunities to uh, record a set of typing. You have saved the document. You can print it. You can uh, cut text. You can replace text with other text. You can find text. Um, you know, many different options uh, for what to do with the text in the document. So now, I'm just going to create a new file. And now I'm going to show you what all the languages are supported in the file. Okay, so we're going to start with A. Um, going down, you are presented with um, many different languages. ADA, ASP, um, Auto, It, Batch, um, C, C Sharp, C++, C AML, uh, COBL, CSS, uh, D, and Diff, Flash Action Script, and that's what includes uh, Flash Action Script 3.0. Um, Haskell and HTML, INNO, uh, J Java, JavaScript and JSP, Kickstart, uh, Lisp and LUA, um, Makerfile, uh, MSDOS style, which is pretty interesting down there at the bottom, uh, Normal Text, of course, and NSIS. Uh, also, you are presented with Objective C, which is used to write iOS apps, uh, Perl, PHP, PostScript, Python, uh, PowerShell, there's also R, Resource File, and Ruby, there's Shell, there's Scheme, there's SQL, there's TCL, TX, VR, um, Verilog, XML, and YAML. Okay guys, so I'm just going to set the language of this text to CSS and start uh, putting a little bit of code in. So we'll just put in the body, and I'm going to set the background color to uh... brown okay and i'm going to set the color of the normal text by typing in color and set it to just white okay and close it off and as you can see it has color coded the text um... body is blue um... the uh, css properties are uh... different colors and you can save it but i'm not going to save it right now okay um, so yeah, there's just many options in this program, um, so yeah. And uh, I'm just going to set the language uh, to, um, oh let's see, HTML. And open HTML, and as you can see it start automatically starts color coding it, and I'm um, going to enter in the title and um, yeah guys so this is really helpful for uh, any web developer all right next off is TextMate TextMate is not free it is for the Mac it is fifty or sixty dollars uh, not from the Mac App Store but from a website I'm just gonna fire it up and uh, you are presented with an untitled document I'm just gonna open a recent file Let's do web, my website, which is the website I'm working on. As you can see, this is also color coded as well. You have an option to show web preview, uh, which is like its own little uh, Google Chrome looking ish, uh, Google Chrome ish looking browser. See, it has the built in inspect element with the uh, very Google Chrome ish looking element inspector. Um, and my website's a little sloppy right now. Alright, there's my website, uh, page two styles, and my website, uh, 
And there is a uh, countdown timer. That's JavaScript. All right. So uh, here are some different uh, languages that support. There's ActionScript. There's Apache. AppleScript. Um, there is blogging. There's bundle development. There's C. There's CSS. DIFF. Git. Um, HTML. Uh, you can also validate the syntax uh, using built-in uh, online helper. That's really nice. Hyperlink helper. Java. Java doc. JavaScript. Latex. Um, there's mail. Markdown. Math. Objective C. Very nice. Perl. Um, PHP. Property list. Python. Ruby. Um, Ruby on Rails. Very nice. Not in Notepad plus plus. Shell script. Source. SQL. Subversion. Text. Normal text, of course. Textile, um, text mate, to do, transit, Xcode, XML, and finally YAML. <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, I'm going to go back into my website HTML and close it because that's the, not the right one for the styles. Um, I'm going to open my website page two and go back into the styles. So as you can see, this is the style uh, for uh, the CSS coding. So you can see uh, different colors for the uh, divs, the colors, the uh, color definitions. Um, yeah, so uh, just save that. And uh, there's different views of how you can set the font to look like. Um, you can wrap the columns. Um, you can uh, you can align the text. Um, so, for example, I'm going to select some text here, right here, and go to View, Text, rather, and Center it, and as you can see, it centers, but um, I'm just going to press Control z to undo that. And, um, yeah, so uh, there is a lot of options in TextMate. Here are some uh, facts about TextMate. Um, I'm not going to read them all to you, um, but if you get it, you can check them out. Um, I'm going to go into the preferences here. Uh, you can set different f uh, themes for this. Uh, I am currently on Twilight, but there's many different ones, as you can see, with different color codings. And I prefer Twilight. So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend this program, just as I'd recommend uh, Notepad++, guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in my next video. So guys, that basically wraps it up for my review of Notepad++ and TextMate for the Mac and PC. Uh, be sure to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.